here we are, Norway, Sweden. We're on lap number 15. <laughs> By 15, I mean one. I've been slowing them down. It's 1.5. <laughs> it's on me. My name is Earl Granville, and I'm here in Sweden doing the Spartan Ultra, and I'm from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I had a lot of fun today. I don't know, we only did one lap of the Ultra, but today was definitely one of my favorite races. You know, I think this winter element, doing a Spartan race, uh, usually during the summertime, and you know, you're wearing shorts and a t-shirt and just flying through it, but something like this I thought was a lot of fun. And I think the most challenging, like every other Spartan, climbing those mountains. For the obvious reason, it's very challenging for myself personally. I served as an infantryman in the Pennsylvania Army National Guard for nine years, and on my third deployment, I was in Afghanistan, and I lost my leg through a roadside bomb. And on that day, two of my buddies got killed, Specialist Derek Holland of Wingap, Pennsylvania, and Major Scott Haggerty of Stillwater, Oklahoma. You know, scheme of things, I feel like I, I got lucky. You know, that's the only way to pull it. You know, always remember Derek and Scott, but, that gives me the ability to maybe do races in their honor, do events in their honor, keep in contact with their family. So a day like today, you know, very challenging and it's just something for me to remember, man. Like, you know, life is good and we're gonna get through this and, and obviously it's gonna be challenging, but I still have the ability to do it. And that's what, you know, I appreciate about this. I've been part of an organization called Operation Enduring Warrior for about seven years now. And our mission is to honor, empower, and motivate our wounded and disabled veterans to continue to live an active lifestyle, not let their injuries define who they are. They're gonna define themselves. And what I think is really most important is once again, just like when you wore that uniform, you're part of a team once again. You know, it's that teamwork aspect that we all have in that uniform, which I, I feel like a lot of people miss when they take that uniform off. What I believe this does, it gives their independence back finding a new passion in life. Some of our athletes who are getting their skydiving license where you know they don't have to be strapped to somebody, we, could, we take them through the training. And I think it's that type of independence. And we just find a way how we could push through and help them reach their goals and not let their injury slow them down. I think anybody, any you know kids out there who might be dealing with something like this, you will always have that ability to take that step forward out of your comfort zone. Sometimes we can't control what happens in our lives, but we always have the ability to react to it in a positive way. People are gonna tell you, I don't think you should do that. You might get hurt. Oh man, you know, why don't you sit this one out? Get out there and be the best that you can be. Because this doesn't have to define who you are. It doesn't have to give you limitations. You know, trust me, man. I mean, I, the day this happened to me, I never thought I'd be doing stuff like this now. But I think when you fill yourself with the right people in your life, you know, you can realize, all right, this doesn't have to define me anymore. So when bad things like this happen to you, understand that and remember that. <laughs>